In this video on mathematical economics series, we will start a new chapter that is the comparative statics analysis in economics. So, uh, first of all, we will give a brief intuition about uh, the comparative statics in this video. So, first of all, going to the definition, the comparative statics means that it is, it is the determination of change in the endogenous variables of a model that results from a change in the exogenous variable of parameters of that model so what does this mean it simply means that uh, in comparative statics what we do we it is the comparison of two different uh, economic outcomes that is before and after a change in some underlying exogenous variables or parameters uh, actually uh, it is used it is used by the economists uh, to see the impact of let us say the tax or subsidy on the consumers demand so for that we can use the comparative statics or we can also use it for the impact of the change in investment or government spending on the national income for that we use the comparative statics so what actually is the comparative statics so i will first write what are the main pointers it studies it studies it studies comparison of comparison of old old and new uh, equilibrium positions equilibrium positions so what does this mean let us say uh, we will give a simple example to make it uh, more clear let us say uh, demand and supply of onions is let us say demand is equal to supply of onions is equal to 24 kg when price is equal to let us say one dollar okay at one dollar price demand and supply of onion is 20 kg so first i will make the graph let us say we have uh, the quantity of onions and price of onions here okay and we are told this is our demand function this is our supply function so it says demand is equal to supply at when the demand is equal to supply let us say this is demand function this is supply function at that point uh, we demand 20 kgs of onions and at what price at one dollar price okay so okay this means when demand is equal to supply that is the at the equilibrium position let us say this is e at equilibrium position uh, we demand 20 kgs of onion at equilibrium price of one okay now suppose that uh, demand increases to six kg while supply remains the same so we say let us say the demand increases uh, by some exogenous factors it increases to six kgs okay so if the demand increases to six uh, kgs and supply remains same that means there would be shift in demand okay so our new demand will be this d dash and let us uh, uh, let us assume that after the shift in the demand our new price is let us say two dollars and we demand 26 kgs 26 kgs of onions okay um so let us say this is the new equilibrium okay so uh, what we see uh, the comparative statics is the study of the two equilibrium prices okay it studies the old equilibrium price and new equilibrium price okay for that we use the comparative sta statics analysis as we have see uh, told it is the determination of the change in endogenous variables how the endogenous variables change of a model they result from the exogenous variables or parameters of that model so by the shifting in the demand it was caused by some exogenous variables or exogenous parameters so uh, we use the comparative statics analysis uh, to compare the two equilibrium two equilibrium positions that is 
before the change and after the change in the exogenous variables it is to be remembered that um, it only studies or compares the old and new equilibrium okay so i will write here it only this comparative statics only uh, studies old and new new equilibrium equilibrium okay it studies only uh, old and new equilibrium and not and not the path of change path of change okay it only studies this comparative statics x only studies the old and new equilibrium and it doesn't actually tell us how this has changed so it is not the study of the path of the change comparative statics doesn't it tell us how this happened it only uh, determines uh, the change in the old and new equilibrium and it doesn't um, uh, rather tell us how does it happen okay so uh, it focuses on the external forces that make the equilibrium in the model to change so by the external forces in the uh, external forces in this can be the tests the income of the consumer if the income of the consumer um, demand has increased so um, the underlying essence of the comparative statics is that it only studies the old and new equilibrium and it doesn't actually tell us how this how it happens so if we study the path of change for that we use dynamic analysis uh, sorry dyna dynamic dynamic analysis okay so i can if there is a change from e dash to e, e to e dash it only shows us the magnitude of the change it doesn't tell us how this change happened so this is the essence of the comparative statics and also i have told you that um, it is a comparison of uh, the two different outcomes comparison of two different outcomes that is before a change in some before and after a change in some exogenous parameters okay it studies or compare uh, it compares old and new equilibrium positions and it doesn't tell us how the equilibrium has uh, changed or how we got to this new equilibrium point it only um, uh, is uh, it only is used to determine the change and it doesn't tell us how the change actually happened i hope i make myself clear and uh, in this video thank you